Hello, welcome back again to Professional English One. This time is past tense review. Okay, we are going to review the past tense with the verb to be, regular verbs and irregular verbs, in the affirmative, negative, and interrogative with some exercises to enhance the knowledge we have acquired. Okay, we have some keywords in the present that will always express a present situation. Those are right now and at the moment. Other words that will easily fit with the usage of the present tense are today, always, and sometimes never. Okay? In the past tense, we have the same situation with mm, yesterday, last year, last week, five years ago, or in 1995, in 1476, those are words that will clearly indicate a past situation. In the affirmative, the verb to be will have two forms, was and were. In the negative, was not, were not. Examples are I, he, or she, or it, was or was not at the school yesterday. Okay? So, was is for I, he, she, and it. And where is used for we, you, and they. An example is we were or were not at the beach last week. Okay? In question forms, you should remember that the verb to be goes before the subject and after the subject comes the complement. Examples are was he hungry? And an answer is, yes, he was hungry, an affirmative answer. The short answer is, yes, he was. In the negative, the answer, the full answer is, no, she was not hungry, or the short answer is, no, it wasn't. Remember that this contracted form is informal. Uh, with the other form, where, examples are, were you at home yesterday? And the short answers are, yes, you were, no, they weren't, okay? We have the other verbs that will have two forms. The regular verbs as work, work it, you work it late yesterday, okay? Work it is the regular past form of work. Again, we have, uh, she danced salsa last night. And uh, dance is the past form of dance. Found is the past form of find. And we have, for example, we found a heavy box. That's an irregular verb. Again, we have bought, the past form of buy. Example could be they bought a nice car. In the negative, we use the auxiliary did, and we add the particle, the negative particle not. I did not play tennis last weekend. She did not clean the windows. They did not go to the dentist. In this case, we have the structure of first comes the subject, the auxiliary, with a negative particle not, we have the infinitive and finally the complement, okay? Psych, okay? S for subject, A for auxiliary, I for infinitive, and C for complement. Psych, okay? In the interrogative form, we use uh, an auxiliary, a did, before the subject and the verb goes in the infinitive form, in the simple form, okay? Did he play tennis last weekend? Did she clean the window? Did you go to the dentist? Again, the pattern is first the auxiliary, after that we have the subject, then the infinitive form of the verb, and finally the complement. Auxiliary, subject, infinitive, complement. A-S-I-C. ASIC. 
okay? And of course, the question mark, ASIC. Remember, auxiliary subject, infinitive and complement. For question, questions using interrogative words or what we call information questions, we have the same pattern as we had in the present. When did I play tennis? When did she clean the window, the windows? When did they go to the dentist? And we have a question word, we have the auxiliary, we have the subject, the infinitive, and the complement. And of course, the question word. Okay? Q for question, A for auxiliary, S for subject, I for infinitive, and C for complement. Quasic. Okay? Quasic. Remember, quasic, that is the structure or pattern for the interrogative forms of, of, um, of the past tense. We, when we have more than one word in a piece of speech, we call that a phrase. Okay? How many books is a question phrase? How many books a question phrase? Okay. How many books did I read last month? Again, the pattern is the same. How many books did she buy in London? How many books did they write last year or did he write last year? Okay, how many books is the question phrase? Uh, many people call that a question word, the auxiliary, the subject, the infinitive and the complement. Okay? Question word, auxiliary, subject, infinitive and complement. Quasic. Remember, quasic. Okay? Let's practice a bit. We need to change to the past tense. The police officers caught, catch the murderer. Okay? We, we need to change that sentence, this sentence, using last week to the past tense. The police officers caught the murderer last week. Kind of easy. It's just to remember what is the form of the verb. My niece is at the office now. Okay, we have the verb to be contracted. So this means that this is a piece of informal sentence. The corresponding form of the verb to be in the past tense is was, and we used yesterday. Now indicates the present, yesterday is going to indicate the future. My niece was at the office yesterday. Are your parents at home? The corresponding form is where were your parents at home last weekend? Again, we have changed the, the form of the verb and added the, the keyword or the time word. Do you speak English? And we need to, to change that to the past tense using 1979. The corresponding auxiliary is did and the verb goes in the infinitive. So, did you speak English in 1997? How often do you go to Bristol last year? Okay, how often is the question phrase? And the auxiliary needs to be did and the verb will go in the infinitive and we need to use last year. How often did you go to Bristol, to Bristol sorry, last year? How often? Question, did auxiliary you subject go infinitive and complement to Bristol last year? Quasic. Number five, why do you not go to Cardiff now? Okay, and we need to use in last, uh, sorry, last time. Why do you not go to Cardiff now? The corresponding auxiliary is did and the verb is in the present. Okay, I think you have noticed that the particle not 
is kept in the place, it didn't change. In informal and common language, the question would be, why don't you go to Cardiff now, but in the very academic and very formal English, the particle not, keeps staying in the same place as it was in the negative sentence, okay? So why did you not go to Cardiff last time? Okay. Now we have to choose the appropriate form of the verb. Grow in negative, so we need to use an auxiliary, the particle not, and the verb in the infinitive. Japan did not grow a lot of rice last year. Bake. Bake is a regular verb and we have an affirmative uh, sentence. So, bake is a regular, so we have baked. Mini baked, a huge co cake for Mickey's birthday today too. Okay? For Mikey. Number seven. Break. Break is an irregular verb and the past form is broke. So, John broke a window while he was playing a football. Number eight, ask in a question. In a question, we need to use the auxiliary and the verb is in the infinitive. The auxiliary is did. Did you go, sorry, did you ask a question during the lesson? Asik, remember? Auxiliary, subject, infinitive, and complement. Asik. And number nine, we need to use have in the negative. Have is an irregular verb, but in the negative, we need to use the auxiliary did and the particle not. So the verb goes in the infinitive. They did not have a picnic at the weekend. They did not have a picnic at the weekend. Okay, number 10. The verb to be in, in question, so it has two forms in the past tense, was and where. Where is for the plural and they is the plural, so here it is where they at the party last night. Okay. Make in affirmative. Make is an irregular verb again, and we need to change it. My mother made a sandwich for me. We have two verbs, be and go. He goes with was, and go is irregular, but in this case we need a negative sentence. For negative, do you know that we need to use auxiliary and negative particle, okay? He was ill, so he didn't go to school yesterday. He was ill, so he didn't go to school or he did not go to school yesterday. Didn't is informal and did not go is the formal. Okay, number 13, in affirmative, swim. Swim is irregular and the irregular form is swam. Number 14, clean in questions. In question, we have to use the auxiliary and the verb is in the infinitive. Did she clean the house at the weekend? Did she clean the house at the weekend? Asik. Students and negative, did not. No way, we need to use did not anyway. Students did not listen to the teacher, because the verb goes in the infinitive. Okay. At this time, we need to arrange to reorder the words to make coherent sentences. My is with a capital letter, so it, that is the first word, normally. Okay, my landlord is the only word that fits then, supposing that is the subject, we need to look for a verb. Repaired is the verb. And what comes after should be the complement. Okay, repair what? Lights. The lights. When? Just a moment ago. 
Okay, in number 16, we have da as the first word, and da what? Probably film, and probably interesting film. I don't know. The film would be, the verb was not, wasn't, as interesting as the one we saw last week. Okay, let's see. The film was not as interesting as the one we saw last week. Please pay attention that in this case we have two sentences and the second sentence is we saw last week. The first is with the verb to be, the second is with the verb see. In 18, Obviously, where is the form, where is the past tense of the verb to be, and obviously what comes is a subject where many people or where there are many people waiting outside. Okay, we have, you know, the, the, where there are many people with an outside, where there is a very particular form of the English language, where there is translated into Spanish as I, and it's used for plural. The um, singular form is there was, was there. Okay? Number 19, yes, obviously, this is an answer. Yes, the plane. arrived in time. Yes, the plane arrived in time. And number 20. How, oh, it's obviously the first uh, word in the sentence because it has a capital letter. How long, that is asking for a length of time, for the duration of something, how long, again we have the verb to be, since this is a question, the verb to be goes after the question phrase and before the subject. How long was what your journey to Australia? How long was your journey to Australia? Okay. Thank you very much and we'll be meeting next time.